Which no one can reverse by the looks of it. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. It's been a while, I know. It's been a, been a couple of weeks, I think, actually, since I've done a vlog. But, I am back. I am back. Right, we're in the yard. Um, and actually, we need to get going, because we're running a little bit behind now. So, let's go. Do, 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 do. Need to open the gate. Yeah, that should be opening now. Right, yeah, so we're in the yard, we're just leaving. We are going to be making our way towards Bath. Travis Perkins in Bath, Lower Bristol Road, that's where we're delivering to. Now they normally take a delivery quite early. Our ETA there is currently 10 to 6, but should really be there for half past 5. I'm running a little bit behind. Never mind, as the way the cookie crumbles, I can't like just skip my daily checks, so I've had to do all that. It's a good timing. Look, that gate's open just enough from when I press the button. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I've got some interesting news for you guys. Uh, so, it's been officially confirmed now that Truckfest uh, in Scotland, uh, I'm going to. I've been invited to go there. Uh, so is Kevin, uh, otherwise known as Kev T, and Jay, otherwise known as Trucker Jay in the UK. So the three of us have been invited to go to Truckfest Scotland. Uh, they're paying for our travel and accommodation, so that's nice of them. So uh, all we got to do is just turn up. <laughs> I don't know what hotel we're staying in yet, but we're, we're apparently staying in a hotel. The closest one is a Hilton Hotel, which would be quite nice. But talking of Hilton Hotels, we're actually staying in a, in a, in a Hilton Hotel this weekend, me and the guys, because we're doing some filming with Daff. Um, so keep a look out for that. Have a look on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash LukeScenehGV, because uh, over the weekend, which probably when this video is going to come out, I'll, we'll be at DAF and I'll be doing like behind the scenes photos and some videos. Not only is there going to be a production crew there from DAF filming us, but there's also going to be a production crew from Channel 5, because um, we're going on a programme on Channel 5. <laughs> um, we're not the only ones, they're getting loads of truck drivers to do it. But they approached us, we didn't approach them, Channel 5, so we were like, ah, why not? We're, we're, we're actually a little bit worried about the name, <laughs> if I'm totally honest with you. Um, the way I understood it, it was called 101 Truckers. That's not quite the case, apparently it's called 101 Hot Truckers. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to get some slack for that, I think. <laughs> uh, not, not slack, stick, sorry, we're going to get some stick for that. Never mind. Right, let's crack on. We've got to get a get a bath, get this off. I don't actually know what I'm doing today. I need to make a phone call at some point. Anyway, let's get moving. Right, so we're just turning up to our job now. Got a car behind me. Uh, we're gonna pull up on the right-hand side of the road. So we're gonna start indicating right. Beacons are on. Hazards are now on. And that car can now go past me on the left. Yeah. Right, so this is where we are delivering to. 
have a quick look in. There's no lorries in there, so we should be able to go straight in. But before we do, I'll go and have a word, let them know I'm here, uh, and then uh, get me on in. So, I'm going to go do that. See you in a bit. Right, so we're just leaving Travis Perkins now. Go over these bumps. Apparently, I come here in, uh, in a good time, at a good time, because uh, they've got a delivery coming, apparently, which would have taken a while. So, he said, uh, I'll come here at a good time. Oh, there's the delivery there, look. Lovely double E. Apparently, all that's got to come off. That lorry, or most of it, that. Yeah, bath, that's all got to come off and all be put away. So, it would have taken a good 45 minutes, I think, something like that. Anyway, we found out what we're doing now for the rest of the day. So, we've got to go back to Henbury in Bristol. We've got to get loaded for a build base Longwell Green, which the guys there know me. So, that'll be quite cool. See those guys. Uh, I've then got to go to Travis, Perk Travis Perkins in Stoke Gifford which, uh, again, not a bad place. Sometimes you can struggle to get out of there, but um, it's a relatively decent place. You can get straight in, just park up. If there's a queue, then you can just wait. And then uh, I've also got to do a Travis Perkins Winterbourne, which uh, do it loads of times. It's very, very tight yard. Got to do a 180 degree turn to get out. I've still got my beacons on. Uh, and also, um, well, I record it actually on the way down because I don't think I've recorded down on the way down there before. In fact, I don't think I have. It's very tight. I'm sure I might have done that actually, can't remember. But yeah, so we've got to do that. We've also got to get fuel and add blue because we're running low. Both lights are on. So we've got enough to get us to Bristol. And then uh, we'll have to stop into the shower garage and get some, get some from there. Very, very slow pump though, so I, I won't be filling it all the way up. Um, because it literally takes ages. I'm not even joking. To put like 200 litres in or something would uh, would take like 10, 15 minutes. It's very slow. Um, I've, I've gone there before with the full intent of filling up completely, which would be like 450 quid or something. But I've had to stop at 300 quid because I've already been there like 20 minutes and I've just got to get going. So they lost out on that. Uh, that's the fuel warning coming on because I've just braked. Slu um, slushes around inside, doesn't it? But yeah, we we got enough fuel to get to, uh, to Bristol. Anyway, let's get going and uh, get on with the day. We left quite early, which is nice. Half past six it is currently. Let's go. Okay, so we're about to get onto the uh, Everfall Slip Road to go towards Bristol, and uh, <laughs> right behind us is Kev T literally right behind us. He's going to overtake us because he's slightly faster, but he is uh, fully loaded. So uh, I might get him on the hills, going up hills. <laughs> so I guarantee you, A, as he passes me, he's going to beat this one. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else he's going to do, but he's definitely going to beat this one. Here he goes, he's going for it. is can we have him on the hill can we have him on the hill that is the question because <laughs> there's a hill coming up now <laughs> I'm not going to catch him up, he's, uh, he's too far ahead. <laughs> he's in front of the lorry in front of us. Never mind. Bye Kev! <laughs> anyway, let's get crack a lacking.
Right, we are just turning up now to our second job of the day. Just got to go up this hill. So, as I said earlier, apparently they were queuing up outside. If that's the case today, then they'll be queuing up once we get around this roundabout, which we don't want to be doing. I don't see anyone in there. That's good. Good, 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 good. There's no one in there that I can see. Du -du -du. Beacons are on. No truck there, that's good. Cool, so we will be just parking up here. We park f far enough forward that uh, vehicles can still get past us and sort of just half block this junction here. Being told to wait, that's good. I was going to wait anyway. That's me mate, that is. Told me to wait. He might shout in a sec. Yeah, I never just drive in. I always stop, get out, have a walk. But he's just saved me the walk by the looks of it. Right, so we're just leaving now. There's a van here, which is a little bit tight. I'm going to have to go on the curb just to get the trailer around him. There we go. Told him I wanted to go right. To be fair, he stops, but it's just one of those things where they stop to give you room, thinking they're giving you enough room, but they haven't. It's quite common when people think they're helping you, but they're not. Obviously, they don't, they don't know. They've never driven a truck before, so they don't know how much room you need. Right, I'm not going to be able to get out here. Uh, there's a van coming now. Don't you dare indicate left. Thank you. All good. Right, so. Second job done, beacons off, making our way back to Henbury, ETAs 5 to 11. Uh, we should hopefully be left uh, before 12. Fingers crossed, it might actually be at our third job by 12 o'clock. Fingers crossed, that'd be ideal. Get out of there quickly, hopefully out there by one, back at Henbury, loaded by half past one, and then on to the final job, and hopefully leave there by half three. That's the plan, but obviously we won't know until we get there. We have had a little bit of disappointing news, and that is that this weekend at DAF, when uh, the Road Legends are gonna be doing some filming, Channel 5 will not be there now, um, because they're not ready. Uh, they wasn't expecting it to, well, they were. They knew we were gonna be there, but they haven't managed to get a crew together quickly enough, and they haven't finished uh, designing the layout of the show or whatever so they still want to work with us but they don't want to rush it and film because they don't know how to film it and what style to film it so it's what we've been told anyway so if it happens then it'll be somewhere else it won't be at DAF. DAF are a little bit disappointed because it would have given DAF a bit more exposure but um, never mind maybe they invite us down another day. I think actually what's going to happen is that the footage at DAF kit they will be sending some to the production company at Channel 5. So, because um, obviously not only is it free exposure for us individually as content creators, but it's exposure for DAF. So they're, they're a little bit annoyed because they, they want it to uh, to happen as well. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's, just, it's just coincidence. It was all, it's all tied in together. We mentioned to the company, Channel 5, that we we're working with DAF, gave them our contact at DAF, and then they wanted to work together as well. So sort of goes hand in hand with each other. But yeah, unfortunately they're not gonna be there because uh, short notice. They've literally only just started the applicants of finding drivers, let alone got a crew ready and started filming. They haven't even started filming anything yet. So, never mind. We'll, uh, we'll do that at some point out during the year, I expect. They might even come out with me in the truck for a day and um, get some footage. Who knows? Anyway, let's head back to Henbury, get loaded with our third load 
get crack -a it. Okay, so we are now just a couple of minutes away from our job. This is the third one. Uh, we're going to Stoke Gifford, so we got loaded. It's quite quiet today where we get loaded. Normally it's busier than that. I've just had a phone call from Southampton as well, already asking me uh, what time we're going to be at Winterbourne. They said, are you doing Winterbourne next or last or when? I said, I'm going to last. Uh, they never asked why, but a bit strange why they're asking. They just wanted to know when I was going to be there. So I estimated, uh, well, it's 20 to 12 now, so I estimate I'll be there about half two, three o'clock. Uh, like I said, they never asked why I was doing it last, but if they did, then I'd be like, well, I can't do this one last because uh, they stopped taking deliveries at three o'clock. So, and seeing as my ETA for the next one is half two, three, would have been a similar ETA for that, for this one, if I come here last. So I made the call, doing this one first, then I'm doing Winterbourne. And I've done Longwell Green first out of Bristol because they always want it in the morning. So, get that one out of the way. Anyway, here we are. Are there any trucks in there? Yes, there's a couple of trucks lined up, but small ones. It looked like one of them was their own, and one of them was a little seven and a half ton. You've got to stop right on the bend where I need to be. I need to go right round. See. What are you doing? That van needs to go back as well. No one can reverse by the looks of it. Thank you. Don't know what she said. Yeah. <laughs> that, that bloke just said she made a meal out of that. <laughs> anyway, we're here. The thing is, I was halfway around the bend before she even appeared. And if she, uh, she can't miss me coming around that bend, she should have stopped a lot sooner. Oh, it's just a simple reverse, man. And some people can't reverse. I, mean, I don't know why, but never mind. Anyway, camera's off. Not allowed to see inside. Uh, like I said, there's a couple of vehicles here, so I don't know how long it's going to be before we get let in, but uh, we'll tell them that we're here anyway. Maybe they'll speed things up. Maybe. Right. See you in a bit. Okay. Just leaving Travis Perkins now. There we go. Yeah, so I would have been halfway around that corner before that car was even here. I wouldn't have been able to see it because it would have been in my blind spot coming from that corner. So uh, I was always, I was always going to be not able to see her until the last minute. And uh, she just carried on coming, so never mind. Anyway, we're now going to head back to Henbury and get loaded for our fourth run of the day. And then, thank you very much. And then we need to go, I'm assuming, get loaded for uh, tomorrow morning. <coughs> yes. So, uh, yeah. Whew. They weren't too bad, it was quite quick there. Uh, the two vehicles in front of me, uh, like I said, one was a little little van, so it got offloaded anyway, and the other was one of their own vehicles. I uh, just needed to get two bags put on it, and then it was that was it, it was done. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't waiting long at all, actually. I'll try and get out of here now. All clear. 
Excellent. Right, let's crack on to Henbury, get reloaded for our fourth run to Winterbourne, uh, which is relatively tight, and you'll, you'll see in a second. I told the guys just now going to Winterbourne, the forklifter, and the forklifter goes, what, in an Arctic? I'm like, yep, <laughs> we'll see why in a bit. Bye. Right, so we are now just approaching Winterbourne. <clears throat> uh, basically, right, I swear I've recorded this before, but you've got to go down single track lane and uh, there's not a lot of room. Uh, <laughs> the forklifter just said, really, an Arctic? Yeah, an Arctic. So you've got to call in advance to make sure it's actually clear. So that's what we're going to do now. So, got it uh, saved on my CD player. So we're just calling them now. Bit loud. Interborn speaking, how can I help? Hi there, right, mate. I got a uh, delivery for you from day aggregates. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm at the top of the road. Do you want me to come on down or wait up here? Um, we will... If you just wait for our truck to come out... Yeah. And then um, you'll be able to come on in, all right? All right, mate. No worries. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Bye. <laughs> so, got to wait. Which is fine, it's expected. It's quite funny when you wait, you'll see why. Got a car right at my bottom. So uh, I'm just going to indicate left and pull over so this car can overtake me. Because in a second he's going to get really confused why I've stopped. Another car as well. But I've done that based on experience because in a second where I'm going to stop, they get confused. I think I'm going to do a manoeuvre. So I've got my beacons on to warn people and my hazards are now going on because I'm stopping right here. Because he, the entrance is on the right hand side. So we stop here, get as far over as we can. Hazards are on, beacons are on. Everyone knows or should know that I'm stopping. But it's funny because anyone coming from that way might assume that I'm trying to go over the wheat bridge and I'm stuck. <laughs> That's a, right in front of us is a 10 ton wheat bridge, so we can't go over it. So the fact I'm here with hazards on, with beacons on, would kind of indicate I've messed up and I'm going down there on the right. So don't panic. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to wait now until they come out and uh, then we can continue from there. Right, so their truck's just gone out. They did say, as soon as their truck goes out, come on down. I've only been here five minutes, so I'm not just going to go straight down. I'm going to call first just to make sure it is actually okay. Hi, okay, mate. It's again. Your truck just come down uh, out. Is it all right to come on down now? Is it? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, come down. Sweet. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Bye, bye, bye. Right. Yeah, I've uh, I've done it before where I've then just gone straight down and then I can't get in. So I always like to double check just in case. Anyway, I've got a 128 gigabyte SD card and it's completely full up on the dash cam. So I've just had to put in my spare 16 gigabyte SD card. That car is parked on the right. He does realize that I ain't going around him. Go there, please. Go there. No, don't reverse. Oh, God. What you reverse for? Just go. Thank you. Again, <laughs> this is an example of how people are thinking they're helping, but they're not. I, I couldn't have got around her. Never mind. She stood better than the other one. <laughs> right, so this is uh, Travis Perkins Winterbourne, where this is the only way in and when you first come here you're like no you can't get an arctic down here but yeah and you've got no choice but to scratch your paintwork because the bushes stick out and there's cars on the left 
How tight does that look on the dash cam? Yeah, it looks quite tight. And it is tight. I'm not technically filming in a Travis Perkins yard, so this is this is fine as far as I'm concerned. Until we pass those yellow gates. Oh. Oh. Screeching. That's the branches screeching on the truck. There we go. That's the worst of it. Right away, dash cam and camera is now off because we're going to enter the yard. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're just leaving Travis Perkins now. And I am bloody hot. That guy in the blue shirt is going to have to move unless he wants to be ran over. <laughs> right. See, so on the way out, it's a bit different. Your wing mirror touches the wall if you get too close, so you've got to wait to this bit. I can bring it over and it's just above the wall and then the trailer just gets past. There we go. Right, so we are now done for the day. Uh, we're heading back to our yard, I believe. I'm going to make a phone call when we get a bit closer. But as it stands, we're going back to the yard. Uh, and then tomorrow morning, I've got to go, there's going to be a bump. I've got to go to the doctors tomorrow morning. Uh, so I think I'm going to not come into work until after my appointment and then come in, unless, it's, unless it changes. Uh, long story short, high blood pressure. I've been suffering with, with nosebleeds recently. Um, I used to suffer with nosebleeds as a kid. I've had my nose cauterized. But uh, just recently, especially with the hot weather, I've been getting a lot of nosebleeds um, and feeling like dizzy and weak. So Tuesday last week, I phoned my boss up and I said, I'm sorry, but I've got to come home. I haven't been feeling very well for quite a while. You might remember that at Truckfest, those of you that met me at Truckfest, Malvern, I wasn't feeling very well at all. Um, there's one particular boy, I'll talk, to, I'll talk about him in a second, but um, yeah, I wasn't feeling particularly well at all at Truckfest. And for about a couple of weeks, actually, I wasn't feeling very well. And it got to Tuesday last week, um, and I had a nosebleed at the wheel while driving. So I sort of held my nose. I was literally just around the corner from where I needed to deliver. So I held, pulled over, held my nose, phoned my boss up and said, I'm not be funny, but I've got to see the doctors. I said, I don't feel well, which is true. So I saw the doctors. They said uh, that I'm on the borderline of having high blood pressure. So I've had to, for the last week, because um, I had last week off, um, some of you may have noticed that as well. You might have seen the truck, uh, but not me driving. <laughs> uh, one or two of you mess messaged me asking where I was. I was off ill for that reason. So for health reasons, I wasn't behind the wheel. I've been measuring my blood pressure for a week or so, just over a week. And tomorrow I've got to go to the doctors with the results and uh, see what needs to be done. Chances are I need to lose weight, basically. Uh, I am overweight, so yeah, I've said before I'm going to lose weight, and I try, and then I just lose the momentum, so fingers crossed I will. But anyway, this boy that I saw at Truck Fest on Saturday, uh, his name was Josh, and I know he's watching this video, so hi Josh. Um, you, your mum and your dad, you come over to me while I was sat in my truck, and I literally just got the nosebleed, the first nosebleed of the day. Uh, <laughs> and I couldn't really talk much because of the nosebleed. So I do apologize for that, Josh. Um, but I've been talking to your mum and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send you some stuff in the post to say sorry. So expect a parcel soon. I'm gonna be sending you some gifts to, uh, to apologize for not talking much while you saw me. And uh, got, got an error message come up now. I'm gonna have to pull over in a sec. It's saying I got high beam failure, which means my headlights are not working. My four beam, the flashing, not the flashing. Yeah, the headlights, you know what I mean? I flashed him to come and he decided to stay. So I've just flashed them and they saw that. So I don't know whether my headlights are faulty. 
because she's obviously seen them. Anyway, yeah, Josh, sorry, you're losing track. You've got a post, um, you've got a parcel coming in the post, so keep an eye out for the parcel. Uh, basically, I get sent stuff every now and then from manufacturers and it sits in the corner of my office and uh, I can't think of anyone better to send it to than, than a loyal viewer such as yourself. So, uh, it's for you. That bus is going to stop right there on the bus stop, which is then going to hinder me getting around it. So, thank God he let me through first. It would have stayed right here and I wouldn't have been able to get through. So, I've got to be on the side of the road to get around. Hey! Sorry, I keep losing track of what I'm saying, but obviously driving comes first. There we go. So yeah, again, Josh. <laughs> I was talking to your mum, Andrea, and uh, on Instagram. Got some stuff coming in the post, keep an eye out for it. Uh, yeah, basically. So I'm gonna send you some stickers as well. So hopefully that'll be with you. This video should be up over the weekend, so uh, you should receive it by the following weekend. So within a week of, see of seeing this video, you should, uh, you should have it. Right, anyway, I'm gonna get on now, back to the yard, hopefully, park up, wash the truck, and go home. So thank you very much for everyone who uh, has watched this video, do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. And, uh, and remember, go and like my Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash HTV because uh, I post on there nearly daily, videos, pictures, all sorts, behind the scenes sort of action. So, yeah. <laughs> if you want to see more of me, go like my Facebook page. And remember, we're going to DAF this weekend, so there'll, uh, there'll be some stuff on there for, from DAF behind the scenes. So if you want to see it early, or earlier parts of it, then uh, go there and get a little sneak peek. Anyway, thanks for watching. Drive safe. Until next time, uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.